A VPN can do a lot more than just anonymize your traffic, but if you don't know how to use it, you won't be getting the most out of your subscription. That's exactly why I'm here, to show you how to use Proton VPN. We'll cover everything from getting started to using its best features in this Proton VPN tutorial. To begin, we'll first need a Proton VPN account. Something important to know is that while Proton VPN does have a free plan, it's so limited and not really a long-term solution. With access to five random servers only and slower speeds, you won't be able to do much. A premium subscription gives users a lot more value. Access to its 16,700 plus servers across 125 countries. A single subscription can be used on 10 devices, plus you get an ad blocker. The longer the subscription, the bigger the savings. And... If you want to get a huge discount, be sure to scan the QR code now or click the link below. Once you've chosen your plan, in the checkout you will need to create an account and enter your payment information. Then we need to download the app from their website just like you would with any other app. Finally, the answer to how to install Proton VPN is easy. Choose English and tap OK. Now click through a couple more pages and finally install to continue. Proton VPN has apps for most operating systems, and each is as easy to use as the next, with modern designs and clean layouts. After the Proton VPN setup, the first thing you'll want to do is connect to a server. This will mask your real IP and encrypt your connection, making it private and hidden from snoopers and your ISP. The map interface is convenient and makes finding locations easy with Proton VPN. For beginners who just want to connect to the fastest server, simply tap Connect. The home screen should turn green, confirming your private connection. To disconnect from a server, tap this button here. And to connect to any of their 125 countries, just find the one you want in the list, map, or search bar, and press it. You will automatically be connected to the fastest server in that country, unless you want to connect to a specific city, which can be found through the drop-down menu. There is no need to disconnect before changing servers. Just tap the new server you'd like to connect to. The same can be said across different operating systems. Mac OS similarly has a map layout with a server list, and mobile apps have a countries tab where you can select specific servers from. To personalize your connection, I'd recommend create profiles from here for better control of your connections. Simply tap new profile and add your preference. For example, I have made profiles for the servers I regularly use to stream content. Now all I need to do is tap this and refresh my streaming app for unrestricted access. Now to talk more about features, some of Proton VPN servers have specific uses. For example, there are secure core servers. These offer users the utmost security because they are fully owned by Proton VPN and placed in high security data centers. Just know they won't offer the best speed, so they shouldn't be used all the time. If we move along to the right, we can see P2P servers that are optimized for safe and fast torrenting. And finally, there is Tor over VPN servers. These are ideal for privacy enthusiasts because they route the connection through the Tor network for maximum anonymity. Next, let's take this Proton VPN tutorial to the settings. This is where you can find and configure its most advanced features. First, let's talk about Net Shield, its ad blocker. This will exclusively block malicious links automatically at first, but if you head into its settings, you can change it to block malware, ads, and trackers for an overall safer online experience. Another advanced feature is its VPN accelerator. This is set to increase speeds by 400%, and while I think that's a bit of an overstatement, I recommend turning it on because I do feel the difference when using it. In addition, the kill switch is a VPN must-have to ensure no data is leaked in the event of network instability. The standard kill switch only prevents internet access during network drops, while the advanced one denies internet access without the VPN altogether. To turn this on, simply head to its settings and toggle the top button. Here you can decide between the advanced or standard kill switch options. There's two more important features, split tunneling and port forwarding. The first lets users choose which applications or browsers run through the VPN connection and which don't, in turn saving data. For example, I know Spotify doesn't need a private connection, so I excluded that from the list here. Your banking can also be excluded to avoid blocks. You can tap the icon at any time to see which apps or browsers are currently excluded. This feature is exclusive to Windows and Android. The second feature routes the connection through a Proton firewall for extra security and is especially useful for safe torrenting. Furthermore, if you want additional tools that go well beyond VPN protection like a password manager or other advanced features, Proton VPN does have a bundle. 
It's an ideal private alternative to Google's ecosystem, with Proton Drive and Proton Mail thrown in too. As you can see, all of Proton VPN's features contribute to not only a safer online experience, but accessing and customizing them is simple. With a larger server fleet and additional browsing protection, Proton VPN is an ideal everyday solution, and I highly recommend it. But don't spend full price and grab our deal from the description. Thanks for watching this Proton VPN guide. I hope you've learned how to use Proton VPN on Windows, Mac, and mobile devices. Thanks for your time. See you soon.